Saw. Okay, skipping the fucking spoilerinos. No heckin' spoilerinos here. Oh, wow. Our remaining 14 home cooks are at the world-famous Paramount Studios in Hollywood, California for an exciting behind-the-scenes team challenge. This is so cool. Some of my favorite movies was filmed, like, right here, you know, like Forrest Gump, The Godfather. So I'm like a little kid right now. Wow. I think we're going to do pretty good today. This is Hollywood, baby. What the hell are we doing here? We walk into a hallway and I look around and it clicks instantly. I'm like, holy <laughs> we are on the set of Glee. Welcome to one of the most famous sound stages anywhere in the world. And if you haven't guessed it already, we are standing in the choir room of <laughs> Glee. Glee. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Brie, you look like you just stepped off a set for Glee. Do you watch the show? I do. How cool is this? It's insane. Today, you will be serving lunch to over 100 members of the cast and crew of Glee. Wow. <laughs> Chrissy and Jesse, you two had the best dishes in the previous challenge. So you are team captains today for this incredible challenge. Come over and pick up your aprons, please. My passion from food is definitely from my parents and how I was raised. They're both foodies who love to travel. My dad was a pro athlete, so I'm very competitive. Chrissy, your first time as team captain? You've been on the losing team how many times? Both times. Both times. Just what the fuck did her dad do? See, this is your second time as team captain. Yes. Have you ever lost a challenge? I have not lost a team wow. challenge yet. I'm a single mom. I'm doing this for one reason and one reason only. Racism. To restore the glory of the white race, obviously. <laughs> to win and to get a better life for myself and my son. Well, I got some news for you. Today, you will not be picking your teams. We decided to bring in somebody to pick them for you. Oh, lovely. Please, welcome. Shut up. Shut up. Good to see you. Uh. This is, I, I've never actually seen, I've actually never seen this show, so I don't know. Is this like a cool character? I don't, I, I don't know. Hello, everybody. Jane Lynch walks in the room. I was like, <gasps> All of you, welcome the amazing Jane Lynch. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So red team member, uh, captain is Jesse, and blue team captain is Chrissy. Chrissy, all right. A little bit of attitude here. <laughs> a little sweetness here. So I'm gonna call you Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh my gosh, he called it though. And I'm going to separate you into two groups based on my perception of your beauty or your beastiness. <laughs> All right, there's my first beast. Get over there. All right. <laughs> and there's my beauty with the gorgeous glasses. Thank you. Get yourself a red apron. She sends Brie over at first, and Brie was on my team. Damn, it's kind of fucked up, dude. You're like, y'all ugly as hell, bro. The first time I won, so I'm okay with that. That's a beastie sweater. <laughs> Get yourself a blue apron, beastie. Well, that's sweet. Look at her with her cute little face. <laughs> Get yourself a red. Hey, beast. Get yourself a blue. I don't want Beamy on my team because he's a complete idiot. I just feel like he's he's gonna tank my team, man. Under that composure right there, there's a beast. No. I've worked with Len every team challenge. We're undefeated. Len goes now to the opponent team and I'm screwed. Funky hair, you think that I'm gonna make you a beast? You're wrong, I see your inner beauty. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Black guy, beauty. <laughs> there we go. Smiley guy over there, I see your inner 
beast, get yourself a blue. I, I don't know what to make of you, so you're gonna just be beauty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a motorcycle mama, aren't you? No. <laughs> well, you are to me, so get yourself a blue apron. There we go. All right, so you're into your groups. Are you happy with your groups? What was that? <laughs> She said, black guy. <laughs> Why did they keep that in, dude? Yo, 2012 was just a different time. First of all, people don't know this, but racism was invented in 2013. So. That's why. They didn't know this was unacceptable. Or is this 2013 or 2014? Racism was invented a year after this. I'm not happy with our groups. I'm not happy with them at all. Jane takes a step back and looks at the teams and she's not happy. Yes, because neither am I. What do you think it is? Well, Beastie in the blue sweater isn't working for me. She's really a beauty. I need for you to go over to the uh, beauty side and change with this girl right here who's pretending to be wow. a beauty. Beth, swap with Natasha, please. There you go. Thank you. I think there is a beast among you, wow. beauties. And I think it's the guy with the funky hair. Johnny. Johnny, <laughs> okay. switch with... The really sweet Asian. <laughs> yes. Well done, Jane Lynch. Two thumbs up on that one. That helped a lot. Wow. Something just snapped into place like a chiropractic adjustment. Yo, what is happening on this show, bro? This is... What the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> Who is this person? Is she like... Is this, is this what she's known for? Like what? <laughs> Bro, this is this episode is is wild. Adjustment, and these are my two teams. Thank you. You're welcome. We're excited. I look forward to seeing you for lunch. I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna go get a pedicure. You won't take it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye bye now. Right, red team, blue team. Are you ready? Yes, chef. Yes, Let's go. The teams now head out to the Paramount Studios backlot to find out what they will be cooking for over 100 cast and crew members of the hit show, Glee. Today, you'll have to make three of their regular lunch dishes. You have fried chicken with fries and slaw. After that, you've got a grilled- Bro, season four really popped off with the racism, dude. It's like, that's the seasoning that this, ep this, this show needed was She's anti Bernie, bro. I've got news for the Republican establishment. I got news for the Democratic establishment. They can't stop us. Oh, Bernie, for fuck's sake. Okay, Jane Lynch. This is what CRT does. <laughs> no shot. This is a real person, right? This is a beta account. No shot. Oh, yeah. He says VIP Gymnona. Okay, shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, man. Salmon Good one. Asparagus and scalloped potatoes. And then vegan lasagna and salad. When the cast or crew members decide what they're eating, they'll have to take one of the same dish from each team. After that, they will be voting on their favorite. The team with the most votes will win this challenge and be safe from elimination. So, 90 minutes to prepare and one hour to serve. Ready? Yes, yes. Chef. Your 90 minutes starts now. All right, guys, team up. It's a huge menu that we have to produce in a short amount of time. These are picky eaters. They're the Hollywood types. It has to be restaurant quality. Beth, Eddie, fried chicken. Are you guys cool with the salmon? Yeah, and then we'll do the asparagus, scallop potatoes. What kind of lasagna are you guys thinking? Well, my idea is to grill the vegetables. What is this? Hello, everyone. Billionaires in wine caves has as much have as much right to say who gets to be president as waitresses and diners and plumbers in my bathroom. Class warfare is ugly. Thanks for listening to everyone. 
Wait, I think she meant that in a positive way. I know that we think like it comes across as pro billionaire, but I think she meant like I think she meant like uh like the plumbers and diners actually have a right to choose who the next Actually, I don't know. How do you stop a trending? Racism destroyed in one minute? But then she also said class warfare is ugly. But again, I don't know. Is this like... Like when she says class warfare is ugly, does she mean like... Like, when she says class warfare is ugly, does she mean, like, the class warfare that the billionaires engage in on a daily basis against the working class? Or does she mean, like... Warren was attacking Buttigieg for the wine cave. It's a pro-billionaire tweet. Oh, no! No! That's so bad, dude! What the fuck? Said class warfare is so divisive. How do you fucking describe a lack of public institutions that that actually offer social welfare in this country if nothing but systemic violence that poor people are subjected to on a regular basis? That's fucking class warfare. Yikes, dude. Oh no. Yeah, that is gross neoliberal bullshit. Oh, ew, being pro-billionaire is so gross. Straight up, dude. Straight the fuck up. I was trying to read that in, in the most, like, like, it is so beyond my comprehension that I thought, I wasn't even being charitable. I just literally don't understand what unironically, uh, what, what, like, would compel someone to fucking come out of the gate swinging for billionaires, dude. As if every facet of society is, has not been perfectly aligned in their interests, perfectly tailored to defend them, that you also had to go out of your fucking way and tweet those words. That's crazy. Wait, she said this after the pedo on Glee killed himself to avoid... Wait, there was a pedo on Glee? Dude, I don't want to know about this Glee shit, okay? Can we just move on? It's just so weird. I don't want to... I, I was so happy not knowing about Jane Lynch and who she is and, like, that there are people, there are, like, actual human beings on this planet that are, like, you know, defending billionaires and stuff. Wait, what is this? Anti-slur commercial? It's not acceptable to call me a nigger. It's not acceptable to call me a speck. To call me a chink to call me a fag. It's not acceptable to call me a kike. It is not acceptable to call me a retard or call yourself or your friends retarded when they do something foolish. The R word is the same as every minority slur. Treat it that way and don't use it. Perhaps the first time in my life I was you know, maybe let me know ahead of time what I'm clicking on, chatter. What the fuck did I just... What was that? That was... Or that was, like... White dude, they use the F word and not the C word. Lemon Fayal, everyone else's race was used. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why they didn't put, uh, you know, a saltine uh, uh, substitute there. 
You were alive in 2013 and you don't remember this commercial? No shot, bro. I was in fucking college, dude. I don't remember any of this shit. That was 2011. Yeah. Every slur would be treated like a racial slur, except C word, the ultimate slur. That's why they didn't put it in the fucking video. Because it's too powerful of a slur. There's a school shooting episode in Glee. Stop. Let's look at the comments. Okay. So someone in the chat said, Hassan, here, take this. And then Asterix hands anti stunlock antidote. I took the anti stunlock antidote chatter. Let's get back to Master Chef. Yep. Okay. and eggplant. Okay. Yep. And then we put the pesto on top so it gives the flavor. While the red team has decided on a pesto sauce for their vegan lasagna, the blue team has other ideas. Okay. Do, you want, do we want to. The girl with Down syndrome caused the shooting too? Wait, what is going Stop your words that you are saying in the chat everybody stop typing right now you just made that up right there is no there is no percent chance that that is real are you fucking kidding me dude <laughs> yo i need so much more antidote for this It's not working, dude. Okay, let's just go. Let's just keep creamy going. Sauce made us it's not a creamy sauce because we don't. It's vegan, so making a okay. creamy sauce is going to be incredibly That's difficult. True. Okay, so tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is going to be easy. John, you're good on the coleslaw. Yeah. All right, I trust you. These good size for you. Perfect. Under Chrissy's strong leadership, the blue team moves quickly into action. There's cornmeal over there. You want to put a little cornmeal in the flour? Give it some yeah. extra crunch. Mm -hmm. All right. I've got beanie on the fried chicken. Not rocket science. I think Amy can handle this. There's no brown mustard, right? No. Johnny is making coleslaw. Jordan's on the salmon. Bethy and James are on the vegan lasagna. And Natasha is with me working on the scalloped potatoes. Everybody OK? Yes. I mean, honest to god, this is such smooth sailing right now. It's unbelievable. In this challenge, time is of the essence. While Chrissy's blue team are cool, calm, and collected, Jesse and her red team are feeling the pressure to catch up. We're going to need to go a lot faster. I start off doing the scalloped potatoes, going as fast as I can, and I turn around to talk to someone, and I came back. I just forgot to put the guard on. All right, so... Oh, this is where... Okay, this is where it is, huh? Should I hide it? Should I hide screen? How bad is it? You're going to have to do eggplant too, okay? Mmm. Damn it, medic! And I just put my hand right through the mandolin. Medic! Wait, it's not that bad. It, there's no blood yet. Medic, please. Is that uh, is that bad? Yeah, probably. Hold on, let me see. Tell me. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. That's um, not bad. You guys are fucking babies, bro. There's a lot of blood. It's like, I mean, dude, I fucking bite my fingernails and I have like more blood on a, on a daily basis than that. Her entire hand is gone. <laughs> no, it's not true, dude. <laughs> Need a stitch? Yeah, oh, jeez. They do um, show a bunch of... You okay, darling? Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Here we go. This is going to sting, okay? Okay. Count to ten. Holy cow. Oh. Mmm. I look down and I just see the blood coming out. It's just puddling of blood coming out everywhere. Medic is still bleeding like mad here. Okay, dying. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm about to hit the floor. Go ahead, I got you. Put a dust on it. It's fine, Chad, chill out. Medic is still bleeding like mad here. Look, the blood's coming through. 
takes he showed it like eight times bro that's literally the same amount of fucking blood she died due to this injury guys calm down is is fine does it yeah. you're being ridiculous oh. So that's gonna be really tender there. It's just okay. a little gross. You've, you've, you've cut into the nerve. Yeah, I'm about to hit the floor. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I got you. There's a check coming. Right, you okay? Sit down. Sit all the way down to your butt. Yeah. It's just 15 minutes into the Master Chef Team Challenge, and Red Team Captain Jesse is being treated for a severe cut to her finger. I can't handle blood, and I can feel myself blacking out. Lord, she's dead. Uh, medic, that's how deep it went down. The whole nail's off. It's not just the skin, okay? So that's an inside of how deep it is, okay? And as soon as... I see my missing finger part, I just lose it. Oh Red team. Red team. Yes, Red team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just be careful for two seconds, okay? You on the mandolin. Yes, chef. Okay, one's down already. Just slow down. Yes, chef. Okay? And use the guard. Yes, chef. Were you using the guard? I was, and then I quit for one second to talk, and... <laughs> no good. While Red Team Captain Jesse remains on the bench, both teams... Bro, my man used the, the knife to carry the piece of her fingy back to her. It's like, oh, very good. It's the whole finger. Look, I found it. <laughs> Yo, that was weird. Forge ahead, prepping lunch for over 100 cast and crew members of the hit show, Glee. Guys, we got to move. We got the, the chicken already marinated, and we need to get that salmon going. And while the red team is still struggling with their prep, the blue team, led by Captain Chrissy, is already cooking a number of their lunch items. Chrissy. Yes. Is the lasagna in the oven? Yeah, we've got two in. Great. Lonnie's in the oven, chef. What about Lonnie's the potatoes? The potatoes are in the oven, chef. In the oven for Brilliant. about 20 minutes. Everything is in the oven. The lasagna's getting done. Our chicken's ready to go. Bro, MasterChef producers are like, they, they, they do not, they do not leave any part of the animal, okay? They use all parts of the animal. That's content. They're going to use that part of the content, okay? Someone says, why do they keep that part in the fucking edit? It's like, because that's content. You understand? When I was a, when I was a young boy, you can kind of tell, maybe, with the camera's dog shit, but a piece of my fucking finger came off, and they had to, they had to literally put my, I think it was in a machine, where they, like, had to sew it back. go in i mean i just we're on a roll what kind of seasoning you got in there i got um i got a lot of the spices i got the seasoned salt i got, got a nice little little heat to it joe yeah. comes over he's telling me the chicken tastes good i feel that i'm earning my team's respect there's gonna be a winner dude. people are gonna love this chicken all right y'all catch me up to speed where do you need me with just 20 minutes to go before lunch service red team captain jesse is back in action but the troubles continue as Gordon spots a serious problem with their soy marinated salmon. Just turn that piece of salmon for me, please. That's not burnt underneath there, is it? Well, this, yeah, the skin is coming off, huh? The salmon is sticking to the barbecue like <laughs> to a blanket. Who oiled the salmon? I did. That was my, my fault, sir. I said, I said, please test one. No, myself. Yeah, no, that's what I said. Just test one. The salmon at this point has a lot of marinade on it, and it just sticks to the grill just like that. What's in the glaze? Soy what? ginger. Soy Honey. ginger. That's what's causing the salmon skin to stick. What a disaster. Oh, it's shocking. Guys, think about putting them on the flat top. Forget about the grill. Jesse. Yes, sir. Just have to think a little bit. Nobody's thinking. We have to cook with our brain as well. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, Red Team are so fragmented. I mean, it's almost oh. on the verge of collapse. It's so Lynn fragmented. And Luca have just screwed 30 portions of salmon. Yeah, oh. I mean, I, I just a complete disaster. The blue team, uh, they're doing a age bus with reduced dressing for the salmon. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Chicken's already. She's losing blood and she's losing the fucking uh, competition, bro. That's crazy. But the real losers are going to be those who are forced to watch an ad break at the top of the hour every hour. But if you want to not do that, if you don't want to lose 60 seconds off of the stream and you want an ad free broadcasting experience, then all you need to do is subscribe, baby. You can do that for five dollars. You can do that for free. You can do that by getting a gifted sub if you're lucky. Okay. There's some other methods too, but here's the one minute ad break now. Okay. Yeah, Twitch Prime is free though. Where is Corinna? 
I don't know. I think she just she just gifted like a hundred subs and then left, dude. That's a flex. Ads every fifteen minutes. That's not true. I only run ads at the top of the fucking hour, bitch, for sixty seconds. Marzio and Patagonia vest, Andy. <laughs> Thank you for the five gifted human mind. Thank you for the five Fried. gifted. They're getting it put in the oven to finish it off. Uh, potatoes Hot. have been going for a long time. At this point, the blue team really looks like they're firmly in control. The flavors are delicious. Chrissy's doing a great job. I think the red team was dealt a big blow when Jesse cut herself and stepped out. Do you think red team can turn it around, though? Uh, no. I mean, time is not their friend right now. Only flavors could help out the red team if they pull out some incredible mm -hmm. flavors. Red team, blue team, five minutes to go. Five minutes, y'all. The sounds good. Should it go down? Stay away from Corinna. Sweat, smile. Why? Exo Mech. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. What the fuck does that mean? That's like such a creepy emote to use there. Unbinding Adam. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Salad should go down with the lasagna. I definitely don't want to run out the food, you know? And I don't think we're going to run out. I'm going to glaze them one more time before I put them on. Okay, perfect. When we put the salmon on the flat top, they look great. They look beautiful. Red team, blue team, the cast and crew of Glee have just finished the last scene, and they're on their way for lunch, guys. Let's go, guys. We good? We good? Thank you. Guys, they're coming. They're coming. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Time up, guys. Welcome, 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 everybody. All right, helping your You guys holding you. up? You guys holding together? Oh, we're trying here. Should I just, like, throw this red plate away? Yeah. Yeah? The Glee cast and crew lunch has begun. Once someone chooses a lunch item from the blue team... Vote for blue. They will get the same item from the red team and then vote for their favorite. It's the red team. It's obviously going to be better. Yes. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Hope you love it. Go red team. <laughs> Yay. For today's lunch, the blue team is serving a spicy Latin fried chicken with a jalapeno ranch sauce. Wait, they're While all the dead? Is... What happened? They die? Why did they die? They're like not that old. What the fuck? Dude, I checked Corinna's IG story, and the first thing I saw she shared was a TikTok in the Daily Wire. Yeah, I just saw that, too. Someone said, don't check Corinna's IG story, Sag, and I did, and I just saw that. Glee cast lore is insane. Look it up. Betting on a traditional southern buttermilk coating. Hello. Gotta get me some of that chicken. Yeah. For the salmon entree, Blue Team is serving a balsamic marinated salmon while the red team has an Asian soy glaze. Which salmon's better? Taste-wise, the red. Blue salmon, to me, it feels like they just dumped a bunch of vinegar on it. Ouch. <laughs> and for the vegan lasagna, the blue team's version has a spicy tomato sauce, while the red team's has a pesto sauce. I really like that. Pesto lasagna? What the... Oh, I can fix her. I'm the only vegetarian in the competition, so you? thank you for trying that. Thank you. Eddie, I need chicken. Urgently, chicken, let's go. Speed up a little bit, change gear, out of neutral. As the red and blue teams rush to get food served to the cast and crew of Glee, neither had anticipated the number of orders for one of the three- One drowned, one overdosed, the other killed themselves because they're pedo. Dude, I do not know anything about this show. And the more you tell me, the more I'm like, I'm so glad I don't know anything about this show. What the fuck's going on? Entrees. I see a lot of fried chicken out there. I hope you don't run out. Do we have any drumsticks ready? Can we persuade anyone to come over here and try our salmon? It's really great. No chicken. way. I'm from Alabama. I want chicken my fried chicken. We are currently waiting on chicken to be cooked. <laughs> we just assumed it'd be like a chicken, a salmon, a lasagna, a couple more chickens. Like, it'd be more spread out. But everyone seemed to want chicken. Why didn't you get any red chicken? I think they ran out or something. They ran out. Oh, my God. So, if you didn't get a dish from the red, you can't vote for the red. You have to vote for the blue. Well, you have no choice. No choice. You I have no choice. I have to vote for the blue. As both teams race to get more chicken cooked, things are about to go from bad to worse for the blue team as Joe discovers a serious problem with their fried chicken. Hey, guys. All fried chicken. How is it? A little raw. Raw? A little bit. Where? 
It's like a blood in it. Oh my god, I gotta take it back. Oh no! Guys, guys, raw chicken, raw chicken. Get this chicken cooked because you're gonna get. That didn't even go in the trash, by the way. The fucking chicken flew out Someone's of the plate. sick out there if we serve him raw chicken. The thigh is raw. Bottom line, you can't serve raw chicken. It's deadly. Is that raw as well? Yeah. Oh, guys, we need to keep that in longer. Beanie, you got to keep them Beanie. fried a little deeper. I tell you, I need more time the on the chicken. What the f is going on here? Like, what are you doing up there, Beanie? Now I start panicking. Beanie, you've got to stay in control of that. Otherwise, I swear to God, there'll be an outbreak of salmonella, and we are It's more than halfway through the Glee Lunch Challenge, and already cast and crew members have started voting for their favorite teams. Perfection. I only got chicken from the blue team, and I'm very sad about it. <laughs> While both teams ran out of chicken, red team is now back in the game with a fresh batch. Take that, Luca. There you go. There you go. Chicken hot. But the Martinez still side always arrived. The judges discovered they were serving raw chicken. What's the problem? I, I need to, I need this higher. I, this, there's, no, there's no thermometer here to find out if I'm going higher or lower. This is one of the reasons why I did not want Beamy on my team. Because Beamy has no idea what he's doing. The blue team is still waiting for their chicken to cook through when Glee cast member Jane Lynch arrives and she wants fried chicken. Hey. Hi. Unfortunately, we got the chicken coming. Uh -oh. so we're working on it. The most embarrassing thing you can possibly do is run uh -oh. out of food, especially when you're dealing with celebrities. This is ridiculous. Do you have any chicken Give done? Please, guys, please. Boop, is that chicken it, done? Take Boop, that take chicken it, take done? it, take oh, it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, we're going to get you a nice piece hot of chicken here, OK? All right, let's get oh, you a good. good. Any thighs in there? There's a lot right under this fried chicken. The missed fried chicken plates are definitely going to come back to bite us in the ass. I just hope it's not too bad. There you go. There you go. Thanks so much, ladies. Enjoy. Hi. Don't fried forget about the beauties. Chicken. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Well, did you have fun? Yes. Did you work well as a team? Yeah, of course. Good. Yeah, I'm good glad. Because they're miserable over there. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a great Thank lunch. You. Thank you. Thank you. Lunch hour for the cast and crew of Glee is coming to a close, and the last diners are finishing up their meals. Uh, chicken's fantastic. The red, red team, team killed it. Killed it. Yeah, in, in a good way. Wow. All right, guys, let's get a table vote. As opposed to a bad way. Blue. Blue. Red. I don't know what they did with their fried chicken, but I'm confident in what I got here, and I know that what I got is going to be good enough to beat whatever they did over there. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm going to give the blue team some love. Yeah, this is the I'm changing the bowl. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm so enjoying this, I can't stop eating it. The only thing we can hope for now is that they screwed up more than we did. Yeah. No, we, we, sh we should have started our chicken 20 minutes earlier. With the final vote about to be cast, the question is, which team missed the most fried chicken plates? And how will the other two entrees affect the final tally? All right, blue. Red, red. Chrissy Arez of her homophobic assault. Hacker Man 1337 Fortnite God. There is very little chance I'm clicking on this link or copy pasting it. Just by your name alone, okay? Today, we asked you to cook an amazing lunch for the cast and crew of Fox's huge hit, Glee. One team definitely won the Glee popularity vote today. The winning team was... Okay, 
the winning team was... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is my set. Not yours, I'm in charge. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, of the 127 souls fed, one team received 90 votes, and the other team received 37. And the winning team is... Because for one, it's been the coolest challenge ever being on the set of Glee. And she deserves it. We won by a huge margin. Thank you for picking a good team. Woo! Hey, red team. Come on, come on, give me a pen. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Absolute fucking perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Lost a finger, but gained a victory over Chrissy. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. How the f is that even possible? Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, I'm beaming. Blue team? Yes, you know what's next. You will now face the dreaded pressure test. I'm baffled, not because we lose, because we lose by that much. Congratulations! <laughs> I'm just sick of being in pressure tests. It's literally a Rick. Oh, it's straight up a Rick roll. Do, do juicers even know Rick rolling? I feel like Rick rolling predates juicers. It's like I really am. I'm sick of people like Jesse just floating by, never having to be in a pressure test. Let's not let's not lose our cool though. We lost, and you know what I mean. Let's, it is what it is, man. I'm this off. I think I let my team down by not producing more chicken, but really, there was only so much I could do. You know, only so much. This can be interesting because when I saved myself, Chrissy went nuts and she thought I was a little bitch for doing that. Now it's Chrissy's turn to be on the hot seat. Let's see how she performs. Yesterday, you had that amazing chance to cook for the cast and crew of Glee. And the what is this? Girl, you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I didn't belong there? Fuck you, Leah. I don't know what this is. The account no longer exists. I don't know who Leah Michelle is. All I know is that Chrissy has lost every, every fucking challenge, okay? Every challenge that she's a part of, a team challenge, she loses. The blue team, L. you were not able to handle that glare of the spotlight. The red team. Why do Glee fans actually behave like weebs? Like, this is some, this is like... This is like a very weeb thing to do. Like we've moved beyond Glee and you're still trying to bring it back. Like you're trying to bring the drama back. And I'm like, no, I'm, I want to watch the rest of this episode. Okay. But you're like, nah, nah, trust me. Like this will be poggers. No different than Stan behavior. Okay. I don't care. I don't know who the fuck Leah Michelle is. I don't care. You don't get it. Glee lords and say, okay, but like, I don't care. Led by Jesse took full advantage of their big Hollywood moments. Uh, well done. Thank you. Chrissy, what went wrong? The chicken didn't cook, the thighs. Yeah, y'all love fucking done. musicals. Who was responsible uh, for the I chicken? got it. Right here, chef. You actually beat the red team hands down. 56 portions of chicken and 30 preferred your chicken. Whoa, now I'm not feeling so responsible. I was a strong asset to my team. Who was responsible for the salmon? Between the red team and the blue team, you served. 54 portions of salmon. 52 out of 54 preferred the red team salmon. Two votes. You won the chicken and you got destroyed with the salmon. Oh my God. What the f Jordan, you had one job to make that salmon great and you put out a pile of. Seven of you competed as a team in your last. Azan doesn't want to throw shade at a Fox show because getting paid dollars. Yeah, you fucking caught it, dude. You you nailed the conspiracy, homie. You fucking did it. Yeah, I'm getting paid. I'm in the pocket of Big Glee. Challenge. But 
Not all of you will be competing in this pressure test. Chrissy? Yes. That decision will be made entirely by you. Wow. The rules are simple. Save as many or as few of your team as you like. You must save at least one person and at least two people must compete. Clear? Clear. This is my game at this point. I know exactly who I'm targeting. Johnny, step forward. Uh -oh. Chrissy, is Johnny safe or into the pressure test? Hey, Johnny, go take that stairway to heaven. Thank you. Bethy, step forward. Chrissy, upstairs or downstairs? I gotta be honest with you, Bethy is a threat to me. I'm keeping her in the pit. James, step forward, please. Chrissy. I know by keeping him down here, he's gonna knock out people that I want to go home. He's staying down here. Natasha, step forward, please. She's safe. Safe? Wow. Upstairs. I am shocked. Her and I did not like each other. I have no idea what's going on in her head. I want her to think that I'm on her side. I'm not. You know, that whole keep your enemies closer thing, I got you, Natasha. Beamy, step forward, please. Chrissy, now that you've got the stats and you understood how substantial that chicken was, what are you thinking? I think Beamy did a great job yesterday, but his luck's running out. Beamy stays. Wow, I got the majority of the votes for our team. Talk about a bitch move. Anything that happened yesterday, it doesn't matter to me. He could have a golden goose egg out. I want him going. Jordan, step forward. Upstairs or downstairs? He's staying down here. I gotta get my competition out of here. Step back, please. Chrissy, are you balls enough to stay down, compete in the pressure No tip? fucking shot. Yes. Or are you staying safe on the balcony? No shot she fucking stays Think down there. It. No shot. She's taking her ass upstairs, right? The only thing right? that comes into my mind is my kid. And my kid would say, you had a chance to save yourself for us, and you didn't take it, and you went home. So she's such a, she's like a bad person, too, uh, other than, like, obviously, the obvious reasons as to why she's a bad person. Uh, got banned off Twitter for racism. Holy shit. Because, um, like, she's using her kid to justify, like, a dick move. You know what I mean? Yeah, blame it on your kid, dude. Totally. Like, you, does this work on anybody? No shot. On that, I can, I'm not going to disappoint my kid. Jordan, any vindication here? I just find it funny how much jaw she had to give me when I did it. They already don't like me, so I really don't care what they think. My kid would want me to go up them stairs, and that's what I'm doing. Chrissy, you hypocritical bitch. Wow. Woo! He said I'll the B word, bro. Oh, what? Right, right. You're the only person who has someone at home that they love that they're doing this for. Got it. You would do this if you had a kid? Dog, if I, even if I didn't have a kid, I would do this. But then I would be fucking honest and I'd be like, fuck yeah, I'm going up there. I don't give a shit. Team Are you Captain ready to get bitch. cooking for your lives? Yes, yes chef. chef. The dish that will determine your Master Chef future. Lemon meringue pie. No one would reproduce with you except for your mom, who already did reproduce with me. I'm the father and you're fucking grounded. Oh. <laughs> Woo! I've never made lemon meringue pie before. I don't even eat lemon meringue pie. I suck at making lemon meringue pies. The secret is in that base, that nice, firm salt crust pastry. Then you've got that delicious, acidic lemon curd, and then that baked meringue. And the secret of that meringue is to make sure it doesn't weep. Get it wrong by a gram of sugar, that can go absolutely pear-shaped. But there's one tiny twist. No lemons. A no lemon meringue pie. That's right. You'll have to make a citrus meringue pie with any citrus fruit other than lemons. Good luck with that. I've never felt this nervous in this competition. I'm my pants right now. It's time to head to your stations, please. Let's go. 
You have 90 minutes to bake us one stunning lemon meringue pie without the lemon. In front of you, you all have the same exact ingredients. You will also have access to a not so limited, limited pantry where you will find a variety of citrus fruits. Your 90 minutes starts now. Food process. OK, you have 90 minutes to create the pie, crust, curd, and meringue. How do you divide up your time? So the first 15 minutes would be making the crust, getting that set. After that, I would put on my citrus fruit to reduce down to start making the curd. But you've got to get Hey, Joe, how would you do the pie? No answer. Yeah, because Joe doesn't know how to cook. Balance between the curd and the sweetness and the meringue as well. The egg white can stay right at the last minute. With 10 minutes to go, you can start whipping up your uh, meringues. Jordan, hey, sure. what flavor are you making? I'm going to do a uh, key lime and uh, regular lime uh, curd for the pie. Chrissy's right above you. She's the reason why you're down here. I find it pretty hypocritical that she gave me such a hard time. Yeah. She didn't know how it is to be in the hot seat. And she talks a big talk, but then she gets in the hot seat and shuts her ass up. And that's, that's what I expected to happen. Yeah, rip into Guys, her. Please rip into her, dude. Your pastry in the oven. All right, James, pastry's not in the oven yet. Yeah. Why not? I'm getting a rolling pin to put it in right now, chef. Hurry up, let's go. You've got to get that in the oven. Hey, Beamy. What's going on, guys? Your first meringue pie? Yes, sir. I'm making a lime meringue pie. Don't let that break, Beamy. No, definitely not, chef. Careful, careful. What? Can't wait for Joe to be like, hey, Beamy, who taught you how to make a pie, huh? Which white guy? And the hell? What the f am I doing? This is too soft. I have my cornstarch in there, and I'm whisking, whisking, and I'm looking down, and I'm thinking, this curd is not thickening up yet. Like, what's going on? But look, he put cream of tartar instead of cornstarch. And that's what looking it's not getting thick. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. The curd is still watery. It's not the consistency I'm looking for. But I'm thinking, let me put this in the refrigerator, then hopefully it'll, it'll get some thickness to it, because I got to start working on this meringue. Look at this. So I start working on this meringue, and I pick up the, the cream of tartar to put into my uh, meringue. Oh, And when I look, I realize this is cornstarch. This is why my curd didn't come together. Exactly what I want to happen is happening. And I'm loving every minute of it. Oh, God. Oh, she is such a dick, dude. Oh, my God. Bro, she... She's literally just, she's bad, dude. She's a bad person. <laughs> 15 minutes to go, guys. Look at this. But look, he put cream of tartar instead of cornstarch. Oh, oh I pick up the, the cream of tartar to put into my meringue, and when I look, I realize. This is cornstarch. This is why my curd didn't come together. But the only way you lose is if you give up on yourself. I'm not giving up without a fight. Remember when you said Luca was the villain? Dog, Luca was... The only reason why Luca's not the villain is because there's hella villains on this season. Everyone's a villain this season, bro. Pasta Yeah. Feeling yeah. good. My crust is a little buttery than I wanted. What the fuck? Yeah, pastry looked raw. Was it raw? Um, it was cooked, but maybe I should have cooked it a little bit longer. But that feels wet there, so be very, very careful, then. Okay. Very careful. Let's go, guys. But this time, your pie should be in the oven and that meringue baking. Jordan, go in the oven. Now, then. Perfect timing. James, you have to be very careful here. He's leaving all of his to the last minute. James, you're not leaving yourself any time to bake the meringue in the oven. I'm really cutting myself pretty short. Last two minutes, guys. 60 seconds to go. What is James doing? What is he waiting for? 10, 9, 8, 7. No I'm running out of time, shot. But I don't have any options. I'm trying to fix it, so I'm torching, but my pie looks like. 6, 5, Three, two, yep. one, and stop. 
Fucking mango, dude. Couldn't clutch it. From up there in the gallery, what do you think? Exactly what I wanted to happen happened. That was a very tough pressure test. Three very difficult, demanding stages that you need to nail every step of the way, 100%. All four of you, please bring them down to the front. Yeah. On top, the pie looks OK. But I know on the inside that dough is not cooked, the egg whites are not perfect, and there's definitely not enough curd in there. I might be going home today. So what's the flavor? Uh, blood orange and lime. Why those two? Well, I wanted to kind of mix the flavors up between the two and find something that was sweet and tart, and I figured the blood orange Yo, and lime would be a good like combo. It looks like doo-doo. So just take a look under there. See that damp patch? So that is a raw pie crust on the bottom. Way insufficient curd. The pastry doesn't taste too bad, but your saving grace there is the curd. That actually tastes quite nice. Egg white, not cooked all the way. Yeah. What happened there? Ran out of time. Just needed five more minutes. This is not impressive at all. Very disappointing. Hi, Betty. Hey. What's going through your mind right now? I'm disappointed in my outcome. I hope I don't leave from it. Yeah, but I mean, visually beautiful. And it should be making a nice crunch as it goes through. I've never successfully made anything like this before, so. I mean, obviously, you still haven't. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. When Graham, because Graham is such a fun loving guy and he's like a food equals win type dude, especially with his fucking outfit, which this literally, quite literally, looks like the motherboard uh, shirt that I wear, but blue. Okay. Paired up with the beautiful fucking plaid blue brown vest, which for some weird reason is the first day that Graham has decided to color match. Okay. And then the solid colored uh, red bow tie to finish a uh, incredible outfit. Just blasting, dude. Okay. That red bow tie on that fit looks like the meringue cherry that you put on top of a delicious sundae. Okay. That's what that looks like. Uh, he he absolutely knocked us out of the park. And normally, you just you expect Graham to hit him with the yummy. And because of that, whenever he doesn't actually give you like a positive thing or at least like a lightly negative thing, uh oh, uh oh, my fucking streamlabs just crashed. And usually when this happens, my stream the the label thing crashed. Usually when this happens, that means I'm, you know, I'm a little worried. The stream, I hope OBS doesn't crash as well. All right, anyway. All right, let's keep going. But when he, when he's aggro, it fucking, it hurts extra hard. I like the actual flavor of the curd with the tanginess, but now if this is your foundation, it falls like a deck of cards, or in this case, a lime meringue pie. At All least right. it saves mango though, who I like. And I hope he's saved. I gotta pee. Badly thought out. The pastry's raw there. Oh, yeah. I knew you were <laughs> the minute you put that curd on top of a raw pastry. What a mess. That is the grossest pie I've ever seen in my life. I'm probably going home tonight. All right, Jordan, what is it? Uh, I did the regular lime and some key limes to balance out the acidity of the regular lime. Looks the prettiest. Crust a little thin and raw, but it's still kind of held together pretty good.
But I like your curd a lot. It's got the right texture, good lime flavor. It's definitely the best cake I've tasted so far. I was giddy like a little schoolgirl when I saw you pulling this out of the oven. Because, I mean, look at the curd. That's nice and even. It's like the height that it's supposed to be. The curd's got a great texture. A little sweet, but good job. OK, beam me. I'm completely fearing elimination right now. Bottom line, it comes down to whether Beamy royally screwed up or not. Oh, Beamy. Wow. OK, Beamy. Yes, Chef. Oh, Beamy. Wow. What's the flavoring? The flavoring is, um, is lime. Lime? Yeah. Okay. Pop off, pop off, pop off, King. Pop off, King. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Pop off, King. I mean, what have you done here? Huh? Wait. You missed some quality gram? What the fuck? What is that emote, bro? Oh, it's so wet. Wow. I mean, car didn't set, didn't. You've been to a cocktail bar, right? Cheers. Good elf. Hey. <laughs> what is that in there? What's the grainy bits? Cream of tartar. <laughs> what? I messed up. I grabbed the wrong thing and I just started throwing it in there. What are you trying to do? Kill us? In the recipe, it's like a teaspoon. How many tablespoons? Like almost like ten. I was ten. Because I'm like time is running out, then. Time's running out, yeah. Something's running through my <laughs> mouth. I messed up, man. It was a mistake. It was something stupid I did. Embarrassing, man. I mean, it's over. He's out. <laughs> yeah, I thought Natasha and Chrissy hated each other. I wonder why they're so fucking vibey. I wonder if there is a, a particular kind of ideology they both subscribe to, like uh, both being fucking hogs that, uh, you know, brings them together regardless of uh, how much they they specifically they they hated one another, you know. Oh, four of you, just give us a moment, please. Thank you. I can say sorry, man. I feel your pain. Yeah, Jordan's the best. Clearly, mm -hmm. the best. yeah, clearly. Yeah, I don't know about Bethy's. That pastry was raw. Weepy I mean, and just, yeah, the curd really was kind of busted. But the curd didn't taste anything. It had no identity. No flavor. You wouldn't yeah. have known what it was. If you close your eyes and said, "What does that taste of?" Like? You wouldn't like have identified. Sweet, it. sweet pudding. At least James went out of the box and did blood orange. Mm hmm Yeah. You ready? Bro, I saw this tweet. Okay, what do you want me to get banned? Okay, here. Yeah. Uh, unacceptable, okay? I don't find this kind of humor funny. You guys know this, okay? I am anti this kind of humor. This is not funny. This is racist. Yeah, exactly. So please stop showing me this meme. Please stop tagging me underneath it. Okay, I did not like this at all. I was, I liked and retweeted it so people see. I brought awareness to how bad and how racist this meme was. So people see how bad the, I was, I was highlighting it. Okay. I was highlighting it so that people understand that this is, this is unacceptable. Okay. I hope you guys recognize that. That's simply what was happening there. Yeah. This is anti-white racism awareness day, January 6th. That's why I retweeted it. So I brought awareness to 
how unfunny and how, you know, racism, not even once. That's, that's what I was saying on that one. Thank you, Emily Jordan, Smyers. Step forward, please. We saw you handle pressure in a way that outshone your fellow competitors. Make your way upstairs, please. Thank you. Take your apron off. James, step forward, please. That's one of the worst dishes cooked in this competition so far. Your saving grace tonight, young man, is that there are two worse pies than yours. Upstairs. That was horrifying. Safe. But I Angle lived to fight another day. Bethy, be me. This is really difficult. You both are talented home cooks without a doubt, let me tell you. Be me. It has to be. It's time, young man, to take that apron off. It's, it has to the be. Chef competition. It's really sad because he actually is incredibly talented and he's going out in the absolute worst way possible. This is one of those classic fucking moments. This is one of those classic moments where like a chef that is actually very talented gets clapped up on like a really dumb mistake. Whereas like people that are less talented than him make it further. He totally fucking blew it. It just sucks. You good girl. Keep being yourself. Be me. Told you. Listen never carefully. pop off early. You walked into this competition and blew us away. The growth and the level of excitement that you gave us. And he could have fucking been safe in that team challenge too. He could have been safe in that team challenge as well. And Chrissy straight up fucked him. Chrissy fucked him. Okay. And now I hate Chrissy even more than I did before. KKK Rissy has been extraordinary. You shouldn't be leaving this. I'm praying on tonight. her downfall too, dude. You know that. So you walk out this kitchen, you keep your head up high and you follow your dream. Got it? Yes, chef. Good man. Come here, you. Take care, everyone. That was a pleasure, man. It was a pleasure. Wait, I want to see this. What I'm is very it? happy with the result. Mark it, underline it, and celebrate when you take a step forward. Stop being mad that you're not at the top of the staircase. We will never be at the top of the staircase, ever, I don't think. At least one step, two step. Celebrate the steps, man. Now watch this. Yeah! The bus! The subway, the train! Oh, fuck all that! What the fuck is this? 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 What the It, underline it and celebrate it. Dude, this <laughs> should I just watch this? Because like this dumbass went and uploaded a whole ass YouTube video, put the title as Joe Bastianich, the real reason why he left MasterChef. And I know it's a fucking I know it's either a poop sock or a Rick Roll. But like he puts so much effort, he puts so much effort into it. Like I feel bad, you know what I mean? Zero likes, zero views, zero comments. Published literally a second ago. Published tomorrow, apparently. His name is literally Hackerman Leet Fortnite God. This is after he watched a video of Jubilee on views on climate change and its part in society. Bro, what the fuck's he talking about? <clears throat> His juicers are gonna fucking 
the juicers are gonna be the ones who are cucked. They're young as fuck, dude. His entire his entire audience is unfortunately gonna fucking have a way worse life than we did. Because we just ruined the planet. Anyway. Mission accomplished. For me to make this dumb mistake, it's cost me this competition. And it's like, I let the judges down, you know? That's the worst part. But um, the dream definitely doesn't die here. I'm leaving with the. Okay, what's the lore Belief master? Give me the lore the master. To become something special, I think that my daughters are going to be proud of their daddy. That's all I want. I'm glad that I, that I did good for them, you know what I mean? Okay, lore master, lore master, lore masters. Remake Cruz was a boxing coach from Taunton, Massachusetts. He was eliminated in Master of Season 4, Episode 10, after his runny lemon meringue pie, meringue pie landed him in the bottom three. After Master B man worked at Stoneforge Tower before moving to the foundry, an American table and bar. As of March 2018, he's the head chef at Cibo Mato Cafe. Nice. I love when people actually, you know, pursue their, their passion and, you know, continue on with their careers. I think it's cool. Good, good ending. Good ending for B-May.